Yeah, so true story about an Everest expedition. Yeah, I, d I don't think things are gonna go well. So Everest starring a bunch of people. Well, first off, we have Jason Clark who plays basically the main character, Rob Hall, who is uh, a leader of one of the groups that uh, makes an expedition to Everest, uh, I think, every year. And obviously there are many Everest expeditions, but this is one that is very famous. I think it happened in the 90s. Writer John Krakauer wrote a book about this expedition called Into Thin Air. Obviously there have been other accounts of this expedition because things just did not go well at all. One of the big things that happens in this expedition is that most of the climbers get to the summit, uh, at least the climbers that the movie is focusing on. But then there are a lot of problems in the descent and one of them is a storm that hits. And um, production wise as a movie itself, it's pretty impressive. I didn't see it in 3D or IMAX. I saw it in just regular old 2D and I still really felt like, maybe the, not that I was there, but I was feeling a lot of what was happening. It's one of those movies that you really just can't imagine how they made it, uh, but it, it's been made. And the acting is good all around as well. Again, Jason Clark is essentially the lead of the movie. Uh, you'll recognize him from Terminator Genesis, uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. He is very much an actor you'll be seeing a lot more of. And yes, he is actually Australian. I always thought he was American because he's always using American accent in movies. I think Australians are better at American accents than Americans are. Uh, anyway, Josh Brolin is in the movie as well. So is Jake Gyllenhaal, John Hawks, Keira Knightley, uh, Emily Watson, Sam Worthington. There are a lot, of, a lot of people in this movie. Obviously, it's not a spoiler saying that people died in this expedition because it's very known that that's what happened. I mean, it's an amazing story and kind of lends itself, or at least the landscape lends itself to, you know, cinema. But at the same time, it is so sad. And I don't know if it has to do with the pacing of the movie, but I felt like there kind of had to be some way that it, it could have been alleviated a bit, or maybe not, because it's just a really sad thing that happened. So while the production value of the movie itself is very impressive, and so are the actors, I had more of a problem with uh, some pacing stuff, and also explanations of certain things, uh, and depictions of certain characters. I feel like there were certain characters, <coughs> Jake Gyllenhaal's character, you didn't really get a good sense of what the actual person did or went through. Like, you do to an extent, but if you look up uh, what the character actually does, it, 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 you just feel like the film doesn't do him justice. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same with other characters as well. So all in all, Everest, very impressive. You really do feel all of it the cold, the danger, the tragicness. But for some reason, there's something keeping it back from being a really great movie. So for those reasons, I'm going to give Everest a meh and a half. Sorry, this is such a late review. Uh, I've been busy. I'll make a video explaining why soon, maybe. But did you guys see the movie? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you, especially if you've read some of the accounts of this expedition. I'd be curious to see how you think it holds up to how the movie portrayed the events. Okay guys, that is it for me. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you soon. Toodles!